Look at it. What a composed beauty. This is interesting. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, my bumper. <laughs> this video contains stunts performed by trained professionals on a closed course. Do not attempt what you're about to see at home. These guys have 24 hours to fix these junkyard specials before I race them head to head. Your time starts in three, two, one, go. race around the block and the first to the garage door here will get the better spot inside the shop which will be a big advantage for the entire competition let's see how fast they get here all the corvettes in the lead they've secured the better spot <laughs> on the gas and I went to the RPM just try. <laughs> I've, ne I've never felt a car do that. Never. We have so much work ahead of us. <laughs> Now, if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you'll probably recognize these guys because last year I went with them to Japan to learn how to drift. On their Instagram page, they build some crazy drift cars, but they're much cleaner than the ones we're dealing with today. Now, the thing is, each of these cars has their own issues, some worse than others. The red car, for example, when I drove it, it actually has decent handling, but the automatic gearbox really lets it down and it is running horribly, like full throttle and it, there's almost no acceleration whatsoever. The gold car, however, has plenty of power, but it's also really running super horribly. It's hard to even keep the engine alive. Not to mention the clutch is extremely stiff, so it's just really hard to drive. And probably the worst issue with the gold car, it only has one single brake working right now. And I don't even think they're gonna be able to get all four working, so. At the moment, it's looking at the red car, might have the advantage in the braking challenge, the gold car has the advantage in the acceleration challenge, and the autocross, really it could go either way. Why does it run so bad? I don't know, but I think I want to start out with the fact that it's supposed to be an O2 sensor wire. These guys are still getting into position. Meanwhile, Team Red is already getting to work on the engine. What do we need, what are we gonna do with this car? What do we need to get it ready for? Uh, there, our biggest struggle is acceleration, right? Because yeah. it doesn't do that. So we is need that one of the challenges? That's one of the challenges, straight line acceleration. So like zero to 60? Zero to 60. And then back to zero? No, then we have a separate braking challenge, and then we'll have an autocross challenge, which is where I think we're gonna have to hold the most weight. This the only spot we're gonna be able to win, I think, is the autocross, if, because nothing's above. We have to get this running, because this car would do so much better at autocross than that. Thing. So much better. But if they have all, all the power from that engine, we, we might be in trouble. We might be in big trouble. I think they're in trouble now. <laughs> it's already been 10 minutes and the gold team has just gotten a position. Meanwhile, red team's already got the tools out. We have less work to do. <laughs> so they say, but I don't, know if, uh, I don't know if I believe them. Where do you want to start? You want to take this stupid intake off of it. We'll take, we'll you take said you've got sensors you want to try to smack yeah. in here. I'm going to go grab these parts that are in the back storage. The first thing I think we need to do is find the factory service manual and we got to redo the timing because right now it's barely running and it's all the way advanced. And if you take that bolt out and advance it even more, yeah. it'll actually start running well. So my guess is that something with that timing job is really messed up and then we can start addressing the electrical issues from there and then do a final vacuum or a uh, smoke pressure test. Okay. Then we'll be good to go. Great. Dude, you're the captain. Of this show. So it looks to me like Team Red was spending more time on strategy before they got into everything, whereas Team Gold was spending time getting their car in the right position and getting it on the jack stand. So they're pretty neck and neck at the moment, I'd say. All right. We might not have brakes, but we got V8 power. You do have a V8. This is your, your biggest advantage. Good old Chevy 350 small block. <laughs> Can't go wrong except when it does. It does, yeah. It's going wrong right now. <laughs> we don't have we don't have fuel pressure, so we're gonna have to figure that out. And then, like I said, we have one brake in the back, and uh, so we're gonna try to fix the other three brakes. You got work your work cut out for you. That's got our work cut out for me, and uh, the cherry on top will be we got new seats and wheels, and Ooh. we're gonna make this thing look pretty rad, even if uh, it's making not making cosmetic trying. upgrades as well. <laughs> That's certainly gonna win over some points from Le Judge. It won't win over any points from Le Connor though. He's <laughs> gonna be mechanicing while I do the fun stuff. <laughs> Hi 
So while those guys continue their build, I'm gonna be doing a bit of maintenance of my own because the Japalacha guys have given me my own daily driver. So let's go check out what that car is. So this is a Dieselgate era Volkswagen Golf TDI, which is actually a fantastic car, very good handling, and the gearbox is incredible, but the car actually has a couple of issues. So there's a warning light coming up on the dashboard, so I'm gonna use this device, which is from Carly. Well, it should tell us exactly what's wrong with it so that even someone like me can diagnose what's wrong with this car. So Carly's app and scanner can provide manufacturer level diagnostics, coding customization, and access to hidden information inside your car. Of course, always check the website to see what works with your car, but I'm pretty excited to see what we can get out of this thing. So all we need to do is pop this in the car's OBD2 port. All right, and she's in. First, we need to add a new car, Volkswagen Golf. This is a 2014, and this is a Golf 6. We've got the diesel and boom, it just shows up there on the screen. And now we should be able to connect to the scanner. There we go, it's connected and it's starting to process the data in the vehicle. Sweet. Okay, so now let's start with the diagnostics to see if there are any issues with this car. Already it's found one issue, two issues. Uh-oh, oh, I can't wait to see, eight issues. Oh, here we go, 100%. So first of all, we've got ABS. This looks like it's the worst issue. So what's cool is that it puts everything in simple enough terms that even someone who's mechanically challenged like myself could understand. So for example, if we check out the smart mechanic, so we're in the brake, the tire pressure warning issue, and then now it gives us tons more information, for example, of like why there's a tire pressure monitoring system in the car, the symptoms of the error, possible error causes, like how to check for the issue. It's immensely detailed, but like surprisingly simple to understand. So instead of having to like go to a shop and then pay a diagnostic fee, I could actually check these things myself and save a load of money. So the coolest thing with this device is you could actually do a bit of vehicle customization as well. Also, if you decide to do any coding, it saves a backup of the file so that if you need to revert back for whatever reason, you can worry free. Here's something I find really annoying with this car, for example. When you lock the car, it, it actually just beeps the horn. <laughs> which I, I just found is like a bit excessive for locking the car. I'd rather just see the lights flash. So we can actually turn off the audible confirmation for locking vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and code now. All right, so now it's coding that new program in there. That was very fast. So now if I turn off the car, if I try and lock it, let's see if it works. Boom. It was that easy. That's so cool. So to stop worrying about mechanics overcharging you, you guys can get the Carly scanner and you can get 15% off your first order using the code on screen and the link in the description. But with all that being said, let's get back to this 24 hour build. Align mark on crankshaft pulley with the zero position. Confirm the distributor rotor has set as shown. Yeah, but we don't have a mark on it. <laughs> hey, hey now. Hey, hey now. This is going to be a long 24 hours. <laughs> this old one is seized. Or oh. sorry, not seized, but it's swollen internally to where it won't pass fluid through it. Oh, that seems problematic. I'm not an expert, but... Yeah. As we, as we all saw in the first clip, it locks one tire up and that's all it does. <laughs> so we're going to go for 75% brakes. Now, both of these cars have donor parts available. So Gresh has his C4 right behind me, which they really don't want to take parts from, but they can if needed. And then the 240, Jackson's a bit of a 240 collector, so there's loads of them just sitting around here. So in theory, they have the parts needed to get these cars at least running for the challenges later. But the question is whether they can do it in the amount of time allotted. I know this is a mechanical first challenge, but those guys are already on the cosmetic upgrades. I knew Gresh would immediately focus on cosmetics. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the challenge, <laughs> but it makes him feel good. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy for him. He's good at it. Yeah, I want him to feel good. But what, what's not going to feel good is when we beat them in the subsequent challenges. Because yes. they spent all day working on a new seat. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the update on the engine for you? I fixed it immediately because I'm the best. <laughs> what do you um, do? I unplugged the MAF and it seems to run better. So we're gonna try. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try and drive it right now. Um, maybe it'll help. Maybe it still won't run like shit. I don't know. We're gonna try it. 
with no brakes also, which is really dumb. But I'll be happy to watch. No, you're not gonna ride in it, dude? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm really? Good. So what is this, this is a, thing? This is a uh, smoke tester, so this one's really cool because it has a compressor built in. And so it's just like very gently pressurizing the system with uh, smoke. So oh, wow. it comes out like that. And if it's leaking, you can uh, see it come out. But I think, is this how you're finding the vacuum Yeah, leak? so I found four pretty significant leaks and then um, we're gonna fire it up in a second and see if that helps at all. All right, guys, I'm giving you five minutes until we have to call curfew for the first night. So if you guys wanna do your test drive, you gotta do it fast. So with just a few minutes before curfew, both teams took their cars out for their final test drives of day one. The red team clearly had a lot more work to do and had no idea what the engine problem really was, while the gold team had seemed to make a bit of progress. Well, that certainly sounds better than when I drove it earlier. It didn't seem like he was, it didn't seem like either of them were struggling to keep the car alive like uh, when I did the test drive. So he's done some good work for, considering this has just been a few hours really into this 24 hour build. Do two things, make me feel better and also fix this issue. Um, that is not sense. the solution I was expecting. <laughs> didn't see that one coming. No, I didn't. That's not. the big gun. Um, in all seriousness, I noticed I put a screwdriver in the Zerg fitting for the fuel rail and nothing came out, which is not a good sign. Uh -oh. That means there's no fuel pressure, theoretically. So I'm gonna test real quick and make sure that theory is right. The gold team at least had a direction, but the red team on the other hand had no idea where to even begin, so they'll have to wait until morning to figure it out. So where's team red at right now? Oh man, waiting on s smart handsome Tay to come save me. Yeah, you've been working on your own for a little bit this morning, haven't you? I have, and I can't... I've got a good idea of where to start, but the, the thing that I thought it was almost certain to be right before this project started was totally fine. So, <laughs> oh God. right back to square one. A few moments later. All right, I've found myself back in the Japalacha headquarters here. Did I miss anything? Uh, so obviously, because they weren't- There's they, all been a lot of progress made, I'd say that. <laughs> a lot of progress. The cosmetics are already starting on Team Gold. Which has Team been their <laughs> primary focus the whole time. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Might be all I know. <laughs> While the engine was running a little bit smoother, Team Red really had no idea what was limiting the power so much in their 240. So the only option left was to phone a friend. What's up, my guy? Edward. What did you move? Oh boy, I find myself in the, an abandoned industrial complex working on a single cam 240. And boy, does this thing run like poo poo. Um, do you know, are you, first off, do you have any experience with like simple timing diagnostic type stuff on single cam KAs? Yeah, they're freaking horrible. Great. Awesome. Yeah. What's your so, experience, what have, what's your life been like? <laughs> uh, I rebuilt one when I was like 15 or 16 with my dad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, so here's some bugaboos. Looks like uh, the red car is coming back in the shop. We're trying to figure that, that part out. Uh, is this good news? It, it is very good news. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> the phone call paid off. I just blew Jackson's brain wide open. Because <laughs> he was chasing, he was chasing things that really aren't issues until much further down the road. Right. <laughs> and with only about eight hours left in the competition, Team Red finally made big progress on their engine. 
But unfortunately for them, Team Gold was also making some serious headway. The, what happened? <laughs> is it on? Yeah. The, uh, the feed line hose in the tank off the fuel pump was just like ballooned and like super squishy and rubbery. And oh, so that is what happened. They were theorizing that's what happened, but yeah. I tested the fuel pressure the other night. It's like 31 at idle, and then if you whack the throttle, it goes to 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, the, the old girl needs some fuel. So, no. fuel pressure. So, all right, you guys have your principal thing to fix, and so do we, and then we go racing. While the guys will be driving the cars in the braking and acceleration test, I will be driving both the cars in the gravel autocross, and honestly, I was getting a little bit nervous about it. Yeah. Cam. Can you come here? Yeah. We need a race car driver to answer our strategy question. All right, here you go. We have three pretty decent tires and one that is insanely bald. Oh lord. Which corner should we place the bald one? There's also this three is only rears. a rear tire, right? There is a square. They're all square. Okay. So that could go anywhere on the car. And where three brakes. And three brakes. I would put it wherever your brake isn't. Bing, bing, bing. Wait, but on the rear though, I don't know. I don't know if on the rear is a good idea though. <laughs> so both Team Gold and Team Red have made massive progress in the last couple of hours. Team Red now has an engine that actually sounds like it might have a little bit of power, and Team Gold has managed to fix the brakes for the most part. But they still have a big fuel issue, so their motor still needs a decent bit of work. I think Connor's about to get started on that. Your, your fuel pumpage is done already? Yeah. I thought that was a big job. Mm -hmm. I just had to replace a hose. Easy peasy, baby. Wow. If you guys are... I'm, I'm a genius. If it doesn't, which it might not, I'm an idiot. So not only are you guys fixing the mechanical issues, you're also doing the cosmetic ones as well. I have not seen the other team do any cosmetic upgrades yet so far. Really? I don't want to alarm you guys, but the other team is making quite steady progress. I know, I know. See, Cam, that's exactly what I hoped you wouldn't say. <laughs> you thought we had a pretty drastic head start and that looks like it is crumbling. So in theory, after this issue with the fuel, this car should run somewhat well? Potentially. Potentially, okay. This is a, this is a big moment. Can you wiggle that little like red thing? Uh oh. Has it been shoe prep? No. Clutch all the way down or back? Yeah. Just took Dylan's time. <laughs> Distributor grounds plugged back in and cylinder number four wires replaced. Keep my finger on the throttle blade. Go for it. Fingers crossed. Distributor set to the middle. Let's go. Fingers crossed. This is really, really nice. Competitive spirit now. 
it's get it's getting down to the wire. Let's hear the improvement here. Right, guys that was very close i we, i can't believe we didn't plan that it just happened that way but you guys were literally down to the last wire of the last day so tools down the builds are complete <laughs> would you say you guys are happy with where you're at with the builds i'm pretty happy yeah, it's kind of a loaded question <laughs> <laughs> i'm, sure. yeah, I'm actually thrilled that this runs as good as it does. I'm shocked. And Gresh, the cool part is Gresh thinks it sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> well, I have to say both cars, considering I drove them what, a couple days ago and they were absolute shit boxes. The worst cars I've actually ever driven. And the fact that they both drive in a straight line, at least, is a pretty good sign. So let's right, do it. Man. You're fried, boy. You're a fried. Boy. <laughs> you guys are so good. What's that handle? What's <laughs> yeah. that handle? <laughs> no, my kid. We'll see you guys in the morning. So the builds are done. Even the red car's build is done. So now it's up to you guys. So we've got three different challenges. We've got braking, we've got acceleration, which is just a drag race, and we've got a gravel autocross course, which we'll do later. So first things first, braking test. Do we have our braking test drivers ready to go? Okay, Connor and Tay. Here we go. Best car uh, so you guys are gonna be running at the same speed, side by side, and then we've got blue cones, or actually not blue cones, we have cones set up, and right when you get to the cones, you have to brake as quickly as possible to a full stop. And you guys, you guys dictate the speed, say like 30-ish, and I know it's like, let's go 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, that was so close! 
<laughs> wow. That was remarkably close. <laughs> nice job. All right, Team Red takes it. Maybe that was no surprise, but the red car did take the win. Barely, Barely though. That's what, that's what was, was shocking. You it was like a foot, foot and a oh, half. Boy. I think we go about 20 miles an hour faster this time. Okay. Let's do it again. First collision of the trip. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Here we go. Brake test number two. They're swapping sides. Let's see. And they're, and they're gonna bring a bit more speed in here, I think. So let's see who wins this out. It was remarkably close last time. Whoa! Not even close! Not even close! There you go. Oh, man, these brakes are just warmed up. There you go. They're cooked. Yeah, something's wrong there. Dude. That's going extremely poorly. You lost I, by a country mile on that one. I hit a patch of gravel and it was all over. All right. I had to let go of it and get back into it. Well, unfortunately, that means the brake test went to the 240, which, let's be real, wasn't sort of really. Yeah, we saw it coming, <laughs> didn't we? Well, let's, let's, let's hope for them that they win this acceleration test because it really is anyone's game in the gravel autocross. So, yeah. I mean, congrats on the first win. Thank you. And uh, time for doctor, your favorite challenge. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Brother bear, brother bear. All right, on to the next one. There they are, all lined up. Here we go. Maybe to no surprise, it's the Corvette by a mile. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Connor's happy about that one. That's right, baby. Yeah, there you go. That was the Corvette by a mile. That's all day. Wow. Let's get, let's get him one more time. It's the <laughs> oh, no. He's not happy. He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even cool. I don't even think we rerun that, to be honest. I don't think there's any need to rerun that. And I, I even had, I even had the launch on him, and it just, it just, <laughs> it just, wasn't, it just wasn't there. Gave you all that torque, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Well, we're even, 1-1, one, one, brake test of the 240, acceleration test of the Corvette, as we, well, rightfully predicted. But now, it's time for a gravel autocross. This could be anyone's game. This might even come down to driver. Actually, I'm driving it. <laughs> it might come oh, down to it. It still might come down to driver. Does Cam know he's driving a legit race car? I didn't know that. <laughs> Are you good, Cam? All right, give me a countdown. Okay, here we go. This is it. In five, four, three, Two, one, go! <laughs> He's in purple. No. What the hell, man? <laughs> run it, run it, come on. No, oh. no, 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 no. You guys get a restart? I'm yeah, so you, sorry you guys you didn't see that. The cam was in reverse. Okay. Ready? Yep. You're in drive. I'm in drive. The D. Yes. Okay. <laughs> in three, two, one, go! Yeah, that's not bad for a single cam automatic. Come on, Cam, give it some. Give it some. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. It's a remarkable open dip. I don't actually know that it's open. See, this is... Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you yeah, guys are toast. Gonna explode. <laughs> that's a huge jump. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my baby. <laughs> you guys are going to list this for sale after this, right? Well, we were. <laughs> Not when it looks like a banana. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, this thing's got no power. What the hell? It's not fast, okay? It's not fast in a straight line. Oh, into the tight section. Come on. Come on, little 240. Go, go, go. Into the gravel again. That is. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, start finish is right here. He's coming in here hot. Come on! Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, that was fun. 120. 120.56. It doesn't matter. It could be four minutes. <laughs> I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, this thing's not got power, but it's slipping around. It's got great handling, though. Jeez. Okay, Cam, you got 120.56. 120.56, okay. Honestly, the way this thing was jumping the, the bumps and everything, that was quick. <laughs> you, Dude. you showed it no mechanical sympathy. Yeah, absolutely zero. Yeah. Yeah. How did it feel? Slow. Yeah. <laughs> it <laughs> it has slow. no power whatsoever. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. But what it lacks in power, it it, it has. Oh, the handling's like, good. Spirit. The handling's fantastic, actually. Okay. Yeah, and it's really good. Like the balance is really nice. You hung it out wide and nice and even. Yeah. Felt great. Well, uh, I don't think the C4 is going to look so clean. He's extremely worried about the C4's uh, suspension travel. I would be. And body kit. Yeah. He said I would be. I would be. <laughs> Let's do it. Don't forget, Cam. <laughs> don't forget about that little agreement we had. The money that <laughs> the hasn't bribe. changed hands yet. Now, did you actually bribe Cam? No, I will though. You should. I will. But what does it matter? What would you bribe him to do? Take a different line? To go around it. <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing. All right. 110 it is. Hello. It's us. Again. Again. I'm quite pleased with the 240's performance. It is extremely slow. <laughs> uh, how do you feel, genuinely, about what's Shaking. about to happen? Sweating. You nervous? Yeah. What specifically are you nervous about? That jump. Is it? The one they hit, like, he is right at the beginning. What do you think is going to happen? At the jump, I mean. I think something amazing might happen. <laughs> Boy, is that front sp splitter low to the ground. <laughs> Why is it so low? <laughs> Style points. It does look sick. It, it looks way cooler than this monster truck over here. I could fit my whole fist. You ready? Yeah. Fire it up! Let's hear that Tahoe! Yeah! Ooh, start. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at these scrims, baby. Come on. ARE's. Freak. Those wheels are. They are. <laughs> they are. They are sweet. <laughs> I don't know if this thing can do it. It doesn't have a lot of grip, but it certainly does have a lot more power. It also only has three brakes, so that's not sketchy at all. <laughs> Alright. You ready? All right, in three, two, one, go! That was all clutch. Look at it. Oh, come on. Look at it. What a composed beauty. This is the interesting Oh, whoa. oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, my bumper. <laughs> Wait, was that his secret move to cut across the grass? <laughs> yeah. <I think> so. <laughs> I did not think that was gonna happen. <laughs> you were worried about the front, not yeah, the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the rear bumper fell off. Thank God. It's not just getting sandblasted yeah. by. <laughs> oh, this thing's a rally machine. <laughs> by Crusher Run. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh come on! No! Oh the car's not happy! No, it's it's dying! Oh no, this car is not happy! He's got 20 seconds. Oh it's back, baby. 20 seconds. I don't know, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. Back onto the gravel. Minute 10. He's got 10 seconds to cross the line. We lost a lot on that straightaway. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't know if that was faster. This car was a lot less happy than the red car. Whew. 122. Oh. Loser. Dude. <laughs> that was way closer that, than yeah. I thought it was going to be. I really have no idea who won that. Time to find out. Team Red versus Team Gold. 
don't see anyone really celebrating. What's the verdict? 122.98. 22, no way. That was way faster than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. The red car takes it. Yeah, by two seconds. Wow, and all the parts stayed on the car too. That's right. <laughs> hey, what happened on the straightaway? The Were you losing power on the straightaway? Yeah, yeah. It just the cut. engine just dying on full throttle. So weird. Yeah. Wow, I thought you popped out of gear or something. No. Engine just like cutting, cutting, cutting. Honestly, you guys would have won if it weren't we for the engine. Really? Seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice gold trophy. You're bald. Take this trophy, pick it up with your brother Rick. We'd like to accept this trophy on behalf on behalf of Team Tall Bear, <laughs> and 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 we owe it all to our beautiful Japanese stallion and Cam, and our Cam. fantastic driver. Cam. It's crazy as Gold Team even bribed me. They did. Oh. And, <laughs> and Red Team still won. Well, technically he bribed you to, to not hurt the front. He didn't. Did he pay you enough money to he, not hurt? Not hurt the rear. The that, that wasn't part of the deal. So, hey. so it may as well be your money. Well, actually. I was going for this. <laughs> But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, my money and my, and my bumper. <laughs> uh -oh. oh no. Oh, that'll be all right. You know what's fun is this is going to be on Marketplace in about <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, Grash. Normal wear and tear given the age of the vehicle. <laughs> I guess it's payback for the JZX. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got payback. God damn it. All right, fair enough. Oh. Is this the fuel tank? Yeah. Yes. The front was, I'm surprised the front was all right. God. <laughs> I have to say, this thing looked a whole lot better. Yeah. Than the, red car, the red car, I was like, please start working, please start working, please start working. It was just bogging. It was so Shit. slow. I mean, we, this, you could rotate on throttle. The other one, you did everything just sending the speed in on yeah. entries. Which one did you enjoy driving the most? <laughs> Definitely yeah. this. Okay. If this wasn't cutting power, it would have been faster by like maybe two seconds. Mm -hmm. So I think it was the, the build challenge that actually let this one down. The footage of that car from that Shit's perspective gone. versus that car, this thing is flying. And yeah. then it gets to the straight and it's like, duh, 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 and I was which is cheering. horrible because the straight is where this thing needed to exactly. shine. Yeah, I know. So Team Red takes the win. Yes, let's go. Good work, guys. Good work. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Good work. Yeah. Absolute. Yes. Yes. I would not have rather done this with anyone else. Yeah, this is fun. Consummate professionals, yeah. true champions. Yeah, Everybody's a winner. Episode, let's see if we can sell these things. <laughs> yeah, head over to the Japalacha channel. They are going to actually try and sell these things. So um, I'm curious what kind of money they can get for those. But hopefully one can make more than the other and we have a second winner. Come on, drifty boys. Show up. Really? Give us twin grand for that yes, thing. Yes, that's a clean interior rust-free. Okay, all right.